The internet is a big place. Unless you're 100% plugged in all the time, and let's be clear, that is not recommended, you're going to miss some stuff. Let us do that work. You can be a well-adjusted human being and still catch all the best sports moments of the week, with a quick review. 1. Panthers panic button? We're only two weeks into the NFL season, but Carolina Panthers fans are already starting to freak out a little bit. The Panthers offense, led by rookie quarterback Bryce Young, has been very underwhelming in back-to-back losses. They gained just 239 total yards Monday night in a 20-17 loss to the Saints. Some growing pains are to be expected with a new QB and new offensive system, but a couple of moments seem to cause a little extra angst among the fan base. The first came in the third quarter, with the Panthers facing a critical fourth and inches. Young, who is the smallest quarterback ever to be drafted in the first round, listed at 5 feet 10, 194 pounds, was subbed out of the game for what many assumed would be a quarterback sneak call. The moment ended up being moot after a false start forced the Panthers to kick a field goal instead, but that's not the end of it. In the fourth quarter, on perhaps the biggest play of the night to that point, more fans pointed out that Young seemed to have trouble lining up correctly. It certainly wasn't an ideal home debut for the rookie, no matter how you slice it. Time will tell if this is just a blip on the radar, or an early sign of some much bigger issues. 2. Get well soon, Shaq Thompson. The Panthers' loss was compounded with more bad news on Tuesday, as head coach Frank Reich announced that linebacker Shaq Thompson suffered a broken fibula that will most likely end his season. The entire team seemed to know the injury was bad when it happened, and made sure to rally around the team captain as he got on the injury cart. It's easy to see how much respect Thompson's teammates have for him and how much he means to the defense. Get well soon, number 7. 3. Army Dad surprises UNCG volleyball player The UNC Greensboro women's volleyball team had the best possible start to their home opener against Charlotte this weekend. And it happened before anyone scored a point. Surprise homecoming videos may be the single best thing on the internet. Welcome home to Deha's dad and thank you for your service. 4. NC State embraces the darkness The Wolfpack football team has two consecutive Friday night games on deck as they get set to enter ACC play. This week will be a homecoming for quarterback Brennan Armstrong as State visits Virginia. After that, the Wolfpack return home to host Louisville on September 29th, and fans will be expected to adhere to a very specific dress code. Stadium wardrobe. Themes. Reason number 2392 why college football absolutely rules. 5. Howell. Williams show love after Wild finish the Washington Commanders and Denver Broncos certainly delivered one of the most memorable finishes of the weekend thanks to a good old-fashioned Hail Mary. Unfortunately for the Broncos, the miracle play was for naught. A controversial missed two-point conversion gave the Commanders a 35-33 victory, in a game that prominently featured two former college teammates. Sam Howell and Javante Williams tortured ACC defenses together at North Carolina, particularly during a highly productive 2020 season that took the Tar Heels to the Orange Bowl. Howell, who is now the Commanders' starting quarterback, threw for a career-high 299 yards and two touchdowns in Sunday's win. Williams, meanwhile, totaled 58 total yards as the Broncos' lead running back. The two former teammates caught up after the game to exchange jerseys and wish each other well. Referees are often seen as sports villains with an inflated sense of self-importance, and now there's a new exhibit A that fans can point to as evidence. Alex Kemp delivered an all-time one-liner while making a controversial intentional grounding call in the Seahawks-Lions game. He told a protesting Geno Smith, I'm talking to America here. While audacious, you have to admit Kemp's line was pretty funny. But it was also far from the only comic relief this weekend. Dolphins head coach Mike McDaniel stole the show on Sunday Night Football after his halftime interview. While walking off the field, he noticed a camera to his left and decided it was a good time for a race. That's not a fair contest, man. Those cameras are heavy. Finally, rival players Patrick Peterson and Wyatt Teller provided a little levity as they awaited a key fumble call in the Brown Steelers game. They might be on to something here. What if the NFL wanted to start deciding 50 to 50 calls with a dance off? Who says? No? Bonus. Taylor Swift, Travis Kelsey conspiracy theory You may have already heard that Chiefs star tight end Travis Kelsey is rumored to be dating mega pop star Taylor Swift. That story's been everywhere. What you probably haven't heard, is how this whole thing may be a long con by Swift to benefit her beloved Philadelphia Eagles. Do yourself a favor and watch the entire clip below.
She makes some compelling points. We'll see you next week.